Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me this Friday. My name's Lauren, I'm the Lola behind Lolo Did It, a hand-dyed yarn business in Central Kentucky, and I'm coming to follow up with you with my last podcast about Notions boxes. I got so many comments and questions and emails and like, this was awesome, I needed a solution. I even had a few people show me all of their notions and how they minimized what they were doing with their notions into this little pill case, which is so cool. I've been going through a huge, uh, it's been about a year and a half process, maybe, yeah, year and a half uh, of minimizing everything. And I actually started with our business. I did a lot of minimizing with our business. I will tell you about that sometime, but this is not the podcast. But one of the things that I minimized was how many notions I have. I love notions. I love all the little things. And I do still switch out the little things that are in my box, depending on the situation or um, if I if I want a new little clay stitch marker or anything like that. So I do still buy things and I still do switch them out, but I just don't keep a lot around. I have two of these and that is the extent of the majority of my notions. So one of the questions was, what notions do you have that aren't in the box? Okay, so that's a very good question. The only thing I don't have in the box that I regularly carry with me is the Susan Bates Handy Tool, which a lot of you guys mentioned in the comments. I have carried these on the shop many times, but they almost always sell out every time I um, restock them. I don't have on them on the shop now, but they're a really tiny, very inexpensive tool that has a crochet hook on one side and a knitting uh, on the other side. And I will put a link below um, so that you can get these. I'll put a link to my shop as well. So when I'm in stock, you can you can get them from my shop. But if you can't get them from my shop, that's okay. They are available all over the place and they're fantastic. This is what I carry with me <clears throat> all the time. It's usually in my purse or project bag. Another tool that I carry with me all the time is a nail file. And I know this sounds really silly, um, but I bought like, a little package of like 500 of these. And so when one goes missing or wears out or I have to throw it away because these are little like tiny cardboard ones, um, I can just grab another one. So I keep these in my purse or project bag all the time. They don't fit in my notions pouch and I don't have multiples of the handy tools. I only have two. So I generally just keep one in my purse and one next to me where I'm knitting and that's it. So I don't really keep a lot of them. And then the nail file is I usually just keep one of them. So hi, Jessica, thanks for joining me. So that's what um, that's what I keep in my notions pouch. That was probably the biggest question is what do you keep not in your notions pouch? And I don't really keep much. I have these things. Um, the second question that I got was which scissors fit into this pill box? So the ones that I use are these little scissors here. They are two inch scissors and they, so you can get any brand of two inch scissors, but these scissors I put, I'll put a link below in the YouTube video and I have already linked these in our Mighty Networks community. They're in the section called products that I love. So if you um, shop with any of my links, I do get a small commission, which is really awesome. So if you want one of these, they're, they're really cute. I have one in purple and one in silver and one in each box. Um, the other question that I got is do these pass the airport security? Okay, so I, I'm not TSA and I don't actually know all of the logistics of rules. Thanks, Megan. Um, I don't know all the logistics of rules, so you can't quote me on TSA rules, but I can tell you from personal experience that I always had a pair of these in my little notions pouch that was clear when I was traveling. I haven't traveled with the pill box, but I can imagine that this would work the same thing because it opens flat and it is clear and you can see through it. The other one that I had was a little pouch that was clear, um, kind of like a, um, like a pouch that you put your vitamins in. 
And so I always had these scissors and I've never gotten stopped. I've never even been questioned and they can see them. They always take out my, my like knitting tool bag. Um, I usually travel when I travel. I don't really travel that much, but when I travel, uh, I usually traveled with a furl set of interchangeables. Yes, I know this is kind of ridiculous, but the thing of it is, is I went on one trip and I didn't have the needles that I wanted and I thought I had packed the correct needles and I was really upset with myself. So I pack my Chiaogu <laughs> interchangeable needle set, which is awesome. And I pack my, my little tiny notions that was about the size of like this but it was like a plastic reusable silicone bag and I just had the few items that I needed um my handy tool my nail file and that's it and so I've never gotten stopped I've never had a problem on TSA it's actually really funny I actually get more questions more engagement lots of smiles and questions about my knitting and connections with people that I make along the way who are also knitting in the airport with me than I do like at any other time. It's usually when I'm traveling. So I think it's really great. I love traveling with knitting. I highly recommend it. And I bring my Chiaogu metal needles and I bring these little tiny scissors. So um, at the, the nice part is these scissors are not terribly expensive. So if they did get confiscated, you know, you can buy another pair. So those were the questions that I got from all of your notions. So I'm sure you're wondering who the heck won these notions boxes. So I'm going to show you. I put together these notions boxes. So I bought an extra one to specifically to give away. Um, and I filled it with some fun things. I still have some spaces, so I'm going to try to find some other fun things for, um, the recipient. So the person who won this pill box, in order to win, you had to have commented on the last YouTube video below and be a part of our Mighty Networks community. The community's free to anybody who is a LoloDidIt.com customer. So if, as long as you're a LoloDidIt.com customer, you can join it. Um, and then you could have um, had access to win. Uh, the I had a lot of you request to be in our Mighty Networks community and ask a question of why does it require an order? Um, it's because this is how I run our community. The community is Lolo did it yarn only, Lolo did it yarn projects only for the free section. And so it doesn't make sense to have a community that you're a part of that you can't actually post and interact without the yarn that is required. If you're in our plus community, which is um, it's a subscription, then you can use any yarn you want. But in order to get there, You've got to be a Lolo did it on dot com customer. But I have tons of stuff on my shop and you don't have to buy yarn. You can buy an accessory or pattern or anything like that. So I highly recommend you joining. It is the sweetest place on the Internet. It's just so nice and kind and everybody's so wonderful and uplifting and I love it. So the winner of the pill box is Deb Nyquist and Deb I will message you and make sure I have your address correct but because everybody's LolaDita.com customers it's very easy for me to find you guys and make sure I ship it to the right place so Deb you won this one which is very cool and then the other one which I gave away in our plus membership of our members uh of our Mighty Networks community is the DelaQ um notions box now this is a fantastic notions box. It is sturdy and um, the button is secure and it's got magnets in it. It's really, really cool. It just wasn't for me. I wanted less um, space and more organization. And so that's why I'm giving it away. It's not, I used it for like one day and I was like, this isn't for me, but it could be for somebody else. So the person who won the Della Q is Becky Myers. So I also filled this up with fun things. Oh, I forgot to say, this pill box, I also had an extra of these little tape measures that I cut and put in there. So I'm going to send this to you, Deb. Um, it, I'm not going to cut it for you. So um, the full length one, the 60 inch, does not fit in the pill box. Some people ask that. So you do have to cut it, but I'll let Deb cut it to whatever size she wants to. So pretty cool. Um, I filled this one up with a whole bunch of goodies, too, for Becky. And because it has tons of space, it does have space for a tape measure. 
And I put a whole bunch of stuff in here, just little um, stitch markers. I have these fold-up scissors that they won't fit in the pillbox because you need those two-inch scissors, but these ones will fit in there. And just a fun, just a bunch of fun little things. Some of some of my favorite things. Some of my favorite um, artists. This is Simply Serving. She made this little sheep one. So, anyways, I put all of that in there for Becky. And I will ship these out next week for you. The other thing that I realized, I was going through all of my comments on YouTube. I've been kind of inactive on YouTube for a while. Um, but <laughs> due to some technical difficulties on Mighty Networks, I ended up joined, like doing a random live on YouTube. And now I'm doing lives um, weekly. So I don't know how long this will last, but <laughs> I'm just going to enjoy it as it comes. Um, oh, Jessica asked, uh, do I carry these handy tools on my shop? Yes, I do, but they actually sold out last week, so I'm going to have to order more. You can wait for me to restock them, or I will also put a link, um, in the notes below, and I'll also send a link to our Mighty Networks community, um, for the Susan Bates tool, because I think this is fantastic. This is, like, one of the, the I Ching tools that I use. So because I've been inactive on YouTube, I actually realized that I never drew a winner for the Sheep and Fiber Festival for last year. I showed off these stitch markers. And these are from Mab Elements. And I have um, just little stitch markers from her. I bought this. See how big this is? This is a set for a shawl pin. But I really actually just wanted the shawl pin because I liked these colors, but she didn't have this one with these colors without the stitch marker. So I was like, okay, so I'm sharing the love. So I got my shawl pin, but these are the stitch markers that I was giving away from that last one. And so I went back and drew a winner for these and the winner is Kara Parkman. So I will um, send that over to you, Kara. I don't know if you watch my YouTube videos, but I, I hope that... You see this and you know you're a winner or you're going to get a surprise in the mail. So that was fun. I didn't realize I didn't do that. So I'm sorry, guys. But, you know, I, I'm always a little bit behind on drawing prizes, it seems like, over the past 10 years. But I always get to them and I always make sure you guys get your prizes. So don't worry about it. Um, okay, so... Let's see, what is going on? Okay, I have a whole list of things uh, that's going on in the shop. First, what's new is two new colors, That's No Moon and Laugh It Up Fuzzball, which are Star Wars colors. They are fantastic. Um, some of my favorite scenes in the Star Wars movies for these quotes. So that's new. I also have matching sock sets. Um, and then also the matching tonals are always the second picture of anything, any um, speckled colorway. So you can get the matching tonal colors. Um, the Star Wars box. So the first and second rounds of the Star Wars box are shipping the 19th. And those have already been dyed. And we are currently in the process of packing them. So they will package and ship out by April 19th. The third round I actually still have on the shop, but it won't be on the shop long. I will be removing it on Monday so we can make sure to ship the Star Wars box by April 26th of the third round. So if you wanted that, um, get that. We also have Something Fall retiring. So Something Fall is a really light color um, that has blue and pink speckles and some fall like uh, greens and orange speckles. It's fantastic. Um, Julie of Twin Stitches Designs came out with her new book called Knit a Box of Socks, and she has featured four patterns that have Lolo did at yarn. We have all of the kits on the shop, and one of those, no, two of those kits can uh, are something fall, have something fall in them. So not retiring the kits, but I am retiring the ability to purchase this colorway on any yarn base. So on Sunday night, that one will be retiring. So if you want it on any yarn base, make sure to get it. If you want it on USADK, it will still be available for that specific um, that specific kit for the Knit a Box of Socks uh, book. 
That Knit a Box of Socks book is available on Amazon. I will put the link below to make sure you have it. It is so cute. I actually just really love the way that she has it, the book design, the layout, the clarity of the patterns. I just really enjoyed reading through it. I haven't knit any of the patterns yet, but uh, I know of quite a few people in our community who are knitting them, and they are saying really good things. A ton of you have purchased kits. Thank you so much. And um, they're really cute. My favorite, favorite kit of all of them that we put together is the DK Scrappy Kit, which has five USA DK Little Lolos. It's a USA DK sock, and one of them is Something Fall. It's so cute. So check those out. We have the uh, Books and Tea Club. The first round is actually currently being dyed, and we're getting ready to ship that on the first week of the month. That's Anne of Green Gables. But if you wanted the second month or the months going forward, the second month is The Hobbit. You can get that now through April 7th if you order. Um, you can choose a subscription or you can just choose a one-off. I know quite a few of you already placed your orders for The Hobbit, and set it in your notes like I hope I'm ordering at the right date to get the Hobbit. It was so cute. I love that. I woke up this morning seeing a whole bunch of orders and that was so nice. So if you want the Hobbit, you can order the single skein. Uh, you can order a subscription which gives you a discount and you can continue to get those. They're not cohesive. They don't, each book has its own look and its own uh, colorway. So they don't go together. So if you want to join in and get out or get a single or whatever you want to do, you can do that. We also have the Peach Fizz Box. The Peach Fizz Box is a six skein fade of the gorgeous peaches that are in the Pantone Color of the Year photo. So if you like that photo, which I don't usually do this, okay, but I'm telling you, if you like the photo, then you will love the box. And it will be dyed similarly to the Cure to the Winter Blues box. So you can go back on my website, go to Clubs and Boxes, and you can, you can see the, um, you can see the past box colors. So, Kara, hi, you're here. You won something. You'll have to go back and watch. <laughs> um, so you can see all of the past box colorways, and you can see if it says it's a fade, it's a fade. If it says it's six skeins, then it's six skeins, but they all go together. They're coordinating. Um, and the Peach Fizz is a fade, and it's really pretty. So I think you guys will love it. You can also join in on our Hippo Club. Still, a, a lot of people are joining in and still enjoying the Hippo Club because basically we're building on the color. So you're not missing out on anything. You're just getting, um, since it's now April, the next one will ship in May. So you're getting like a nine skein fade instead of a 12 skein fade, but still a explosion of colors. It's fantastic. If you like our Hippo colorways, you will love this club. So yes, Kara, you did win. So I will um, be shipping you a little fun package. We're also doing our Q2 sweater knit along in our community, which is so fun. And the fourth week of the month is our weekend sock challenge. The second weekend of the month is our weekend hat challenge. And so those are going on too. Whew, I'm getting tired. This is a lot of talking. You guys, you don't even know. So I've got the, um, the book club of the month that is happening in our Plus membership, or you can also join it just through lolodidit.com, and we're reading Killers of the Flower Moon. Guys, I loved this book so much. It was so good. I absolutely enjoyed it. I had so much fun reading it, and I, I think that you guys will love it too. I just enjoyed the heck out of it. So... Um, let's see what else I'm going to skip all of the what else and I'm going to go back to notions because I feel like I've been talking like all about the shop for a minute but I've got a few more minutes and I wanted to tell you that not only have I minimized my notions but I also changed up how I carry my projects around this is gonna sound really nerdy <laughs> but um I have been looking for like eight months for the perfect project bag that's also a purse, that's also a sling bag, it's easy to travel with or hike with or go to town with or anything like that. And so I have finally found it and I found it like 
four months ago, and I cannot stop talking about it. I even tell my husband all the time, like, how much I love this bag. So I thought I'd show it to you. This is the Bellroy Sling Light. So it's extremely lightweight. It's lighter than any of the fabric project bags that I usually or used to carry in my... It, with me and then I was also carrying a purse with me what was I thinking so I can actually fit in here if you can see it I guess I should put this in so I can fit all of my stuff and there's tons of room this actually will expand or decrease so it can expand up to four inches but I don't actually need that much space and when you're holding it on your body, it will decrease the size uh, just basically from the pressure of your body. So it's pretty cool. So I have in here my little notions box, my wallet. I can actually fit two pairs of socks in here. <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> and I have my Kindle. And so that's what I carry with me all the time. And I have this little stand to go with my Kindle, just in case I need hands-free for knitting, of course. So I, this is what I carry with me all the time. And I have been carrying it with me exclusively for four months. And I'm telling you, it is, it's a game changer because I can hold my knitting. When I put this on my body, I can hold my knitting in here and I can knit directly from the bag, totally hands-free. I can do this in the car while I'm sitting and I can walk with it and I can talk with it and it's extremely lightweight. It doesn't hurt my shoulders. That's a problem that I have with purses. And I know that it's kind of, it's not like a pretty bag. It's not like overly attractive. It's, I think it's trendy. <laughs> not my style trendy, but that's okay. I don't even care. It, it It's perfect. So I thought I'd share that with you since we were talking about the notions box because the reason why I had to figure out um, this little kit is because I was taking it from project bag to project bag or I would put it from it from my project bag to my purse. So I wanted to find something that I could just grab that and I could go and I didn't have to think about it. So I had to share my little bag with you. If you guys want more like uh, more of like what comes in, like what I have in this, um, then I can do it like a video just on reviewing this bag if you want to. Um, so just tell me in the comments below if you want to see more of this bag, if you want to see like what's inside, all the different pockets and what I put in the pockets because I have different things in the front too. Let me know in the comments below and I'd be happy to. Does it come in different colors? Yes, it comes in I think like six different colors. I got the white one because um, I thought it would go with everything and I don't I like colors I want I don't want black so I got white instead they have this orange one that I really liked I almost pulled the trigger on the orange one but I figured like I was like what if I get tired of the color I just want something that goes with it um Joy said she bought two of those notions boxes that's awesome Joyce thank you so much this bag is called Bellroy, and I will have the link below for you guys. Um, and I'll also post a link in Mighty Networks under products I love. So don't worry about it. Um, so I, I just love it. I'm just so enjoying like decreasing the amount of things that I have with me increasing the amount of effectiveness of the things that I have with me. And I've been knitting so much more. I was telling the community the other day that I finished nine socks this year, which is crazy. Um, I have repaired two sweaters, like not repaired, but like altered them to be what I wanted. I have been knitting on a few different patterns that I would like to release sometime soon. So there's a lot of things that I've been doing be because my things aren't distracting me and I have I know that I have the tools that I need I know I have the project I need at the time that I need it and I don't really have to worry about anything so those things aren't on my mind so I'm able to create and craft more and enjoy more um I have not uh become a total minimalist or anything like that I have a lot of stuff but I have decreased the amount of things that are just um, a distraction to me. And so I have really, really enjoyed doing that. 
So how to support the channel? If you liked this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, you know, all of those things. Leave a comment. I would love that. I have been responding to everybody's comments. Another way that you can support me is by purchasing any of my patterns, joining our community, um, clicking on any of my Amazon affiliate links, or buying one of our t-shirts. My husband has been um, enjoying t-shirt making lately, and this is my Maker Maker t-shirt. I love, I actually wear this one a lot, and it's in the Heathered Forest green color um, in the unisex. I really like the unisex. I know not everybody does. I like the unisex t-shirts. That's what I prefer. Um, so I was, I've been wearing this. So these are ways how to support our channel. I, how to support us, how to keep our yarn business and our farm and everything going. That's, those are some of the ways to do that. And I appreciate you guys so much. If you want to see us in person, we're going to be at the Kentucky Sheep and Fiber Festival on May 18th and 19th. And that's in Lexington, Kentucky at Master Sensation Park. And so if you are in surrounding areas of Kentucky, we'd love to see you. It's the only show we do every year. Um, we've This is our fourth year in a row that we're doing it, and um, it should be so much fun. I think that we'll, we'll have a ton of fun seeing you. Next week, what's coming next week is um, I find your lack of faith to be disturbing, and May the 4th be with you are both coming to the shop next week. So keep an eye on it. I think that's it, guys. I thank you so much for joining me, and I can't wait to see you again. Love you guys.